Right off the heels of the Houston Livestock Show, 4-H'ers and FFA exhibitors get to show off their hard work in Brazos County. Brazos County Youth Livestock Show is currently taking place. After last year's devastating cancellation, these exhibitors and extension agents are happy to be back in the swing of things. It truly is amazing. Um, last year was tough. It was really tough because you see all the hard work and dedication, time, money that they put into it and then it all just kind of got washed down the drain. Many exhibitors have been practicing this craft of taking care of their livestock for years. Miranda Skaggs has been involved in 4-H and FFA for eight years. She truly enjoys showing livestock and is now a Texas Livestock Ambassador. Through showing livestock you gain so many different um, character traits that you wouldn't have if maybe you weren't involved in 4-H or FFA. These opportunities allow the youth of the community to develop strong leadership, communication, and work ethic skills. You have to learn how to be responsible because the animals rely on you to take care of them. You also have to learn how to have work ethic because um, it's up to you to be able to get them from start to finish. Purchasing the livestock as babies and caring for them until they're ready to be shown can take a lot of time, but it's all worth it in the end when they're able to have all their hard work recognized. I've actually won two $10,000 scholarships through exhibiting livestock for college. Um, at, they were both at the San Antonio Livestock Exposition, so I've already started um, building up my college fund, and that's really an amazing thing. As a 16-year-old sophomore in high school, Miranda is looking forward to possibly attending Texas A&M University to study in the field of animal science and continue within her passion of agriculture. I think really just the people that are involved in the agriculture industry. Um, there are so many different people that are willing to go um, above and beyond for the youth and especially in Brazos County, we have so many generous donors. These exhibitors put so much work in all they do, and thankfully with the support of their families, they accomplish some great goals. Miranda explains how thankful she is for those who support these events to make sure these young exhibitors are acknowledged for their efforts. Open to the public on Saturday afternoon, you can make your way to the Expo Center to witness the auction and possibly invest in the future of Brazos County youth. Reporting in Brazos Valley, Brittany DeFran, 25 News. Every year, hundreds of students participate in the Brazos County Youth Livestock Show. 4-H and Future Farmers of America programs teach kids how to take care of animals, how to be responsible leaders, and be dedicated to projects. Money they receive from livestock auctions also tends to go to their college education, existing health and science and agricultural projects, or just starting new projects. Public funding for our agricultural research has gone stagnant. A new report from the American Farm Bureau Federation says the research is vital to innovations and in farm productivity, a factor needed to meet global demand for food. USDA Agricultural Agency budgets in 2020 have gone, only gone up $100,000 since 2010. The American Farm Bureau Federation says the food demand is expected to go up 60 to 70% by 2050. 